Hi, this is Steve Banbury, Head of Digital Learning and Innovation at Jester Buy, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the amazing Lifelike VR Museum app, uh, which I'm here uh, using on the HTC Vive. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to get your head around is how to move around inside the app. Now, obviously, uh, depending on your, your room scale experience, you, uh, you will be able to move around a little bit yourself, uh, but you do have two other options. One is the teleport option, which you can see here. So I'm holding down the trigger on the, uh, on the pad in my right hand and pointing, clicking and releasing. You can also use the, the menu button to switch to uh, this uh, more gliding type of movement. Uh, some people might uh, get a little bit of motion sickness with this, uh, but it, it's completely up to you. It's, it's whatever is your own preference. So here you can see the main menu uh, and I can select different 3D models. This is just the demo version of the app, um, which is uh, freely available through Steam. Uh, it's also available on uh, iOS and Windows, um, uh, where you can access the models in uh, augmented reality instead of VR. Uh, so you can see how quick and easy it is to import a model. We've got a Stegosaurus here, which is reposition. And the panel in my left hand becomes a menu which will allow me to select different elements of the model and highlight them for uh, closer inspection. So you can see the legs there, I can select the, uh, the plates along the back. Okay so I'm going to bring in a different model, let's try the dog. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about how you can manipulate the, the models within the, the VR experience. Um, You've already seen obviously that you can select different layers, but you can actually rotate and scale the models um, in a couple of different ways. You can use the, uh, the discs on the floor, but the, the method that I find to be um, a little easier is to use these, the, the grip buttons on the side of the, uh, of the Vive paddles. If you hold one of these down and then move the paddle from side to side, as you can see here, uh, you can actually rotate the model quite quickly and quite easily. And if you hold them both down and pull your hands apart, then you can scale the model up. So I'll get a giant dog, or you can push your hands together, and scale the dog down. So there you go, you can see smaller and bigger again. Um, you can, as I said, you can also do this by pointing at, um, using the, uh, the trigger on the right hand paddle to, to, to rotate by turning the, uh, the blue uh, circle around and you can pull the green circle in and out to scale. Um, again, Lifelike are giving you options, it, it's, it's personal preference, uh, whatever works best for you. Some of the uh, models work in a slightly different way. There's a great example here um, of the, the leaf so when you bring this model in, as you can see, it says move closer to zoom in. So uh, in the AR version of the app, you actually pinch to zoom in, but with the VR version, you can literally walk into the leaf. It's an absolutely stunning thing to, uh, to experience in virtual reality, to be able to walk closer and closer, and then the, the detail zooms in to a microscopic level. And then as you step backwards, it, it pulls back out again and allows you to see the cells and then the leaf itself. So something else that's unique to the uh, Lifelike VR Museum application are the experiences. Um, so this one here with the Stegosaurus that we saw earlier on, so now we're in, in its natural environment which uh, gives us a really unique experience in that we can move forward and actually pet the Stegosaurus. Now let's see if he likes me. Well, no. Be a bit more gentle, I think. There we go. Like a puppy dog. Amazing experience for students. Life like VR Museum has got to be one of the most exciting examples of virtual reality in education right now. Um, with over a thousand models in the uh, the full version. It really is a superb opportunity for students to engage with the science curriculum in a completely unique way. Uh, if you don't have access to um, a full VR rig such as an HTC Vive, then uh, definitely check out the app version where you can see the models in augmented reality that's available on Windows or on iOS.